Hey everyone and welcome to part 7 of Spyro Year of the Dragon. So, like I promised you guys, we will be getting Sergeant Bird. Ah, my good friend Spyro. The sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory. But I'm willing to release him into your custody, provided you pay his outstanding fine. Uh, okay, fine. 700 gems, only 1,500 left. Stinking bear. And our cutscene is called Bird. James Bird. <laughs> Sergeant Bird, 90068. Awaiting orders, sir. Uh, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state-of-the-art. So why didn't you use them to escape? The, uh, because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it. For this. <laughs> Say, where'd you come from? I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Cheerio! Ah. Very interesting. I don't know. Midday Gardens is one of those homeworlds. Like, the levels in, in it are pretty cool, but the design of the actual homeworld is kind of blah. Like, in comparison to the other three in the, in the game, it's like, whoo. So anyways, let's go to Sergeant Bird's base, or... Yeah, Sergeant Bird's base. I was going to say Sergeant James' base, but... Anyways, we're going to Sergeant Bird's base. I have to train the hummingbirds. They must be in peak physical condition if we're going to take on the sorceress. Okay, hummingbirds, even though you only help me with the sorceress, not the actual hummingbirds. But anyways, we got a free 500. And this world also uses a lot of this music, because this is also the music for Enchanted Towers. Not really one of my favorite songs. It's kind of overkill in this game, pretty much, is how I'll say it. And let's... Darn it, I wanted to take him down. The only problem is this guy, he's got to hold down X to constantly fly in circles to shoot missiles, and, and I'll just... Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I know. Thank you. But um, the fact is that he just... I don't know. The controls of him are kind of clunky, and... I don't know, he's my least favorite character in the entire game. And, of course, he's one of the only characters that ever seems to come back in Spyro games that aren't made by, uh, Insomniac anymore. Like, man, they bring in a new character eventually called Blink the Mole, and Blink the Mole is pretty good. I no, I did not press triangle on you. Blink the Mole is kinda like a melee fighting bomb throwing, uh, character. Like, eventually, if I do redo or restart um, Hero's Tale, if I ever get it, then I will show you guys, but for right now, I don't actually own the game on anything. Like, it's only for, I think, GameCube. It might be for PlayStation. Hey, I did not want to go out here, Gabriel. And, well, thank you for the first of three eggs, Siegfried. Sir? And she talks way too much and tells you how to do stuff. Like, you'll figure it out on your own. It's not like it's really hard to do stuff. I didn't think I killed the enemy here. Yeah, see? Because of you, I didn't kill the enemy. And if you kill those moles that come out of the hole, uh, they actually give you a skill point. Slash life. Now, the camera angle in this game is a little weird. Wait a minute. Well, well why did you jump down? Or fly down, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I want to kill these enemies, thank you very much. Die, enemies! Eh, I can kill them all from here! Come on, molly, molly, molly. There we go, there's the mole dead. Why aren't you dead yet? I thought I shot you already. This game is better at range than Ratchet and Clank ever does. Now, there was a hummingbird underneath, but let's go drop these up. I don't think you actually need to press circle on these pads. Like, once it touches the pad, I think it drops. Yeah, see, it automatically drops. And you know what? I well, apparently didn't want to stay out. It's unfortunate. Now let's get our second hummingbird at least. Yeah, this level also has quite a bit of lava, which the funny thing is, um, in 
uh, Molten Crater, his level's kind of like how this level's designed. Sergeant Bird has very, very, very little creativity in his areas. Which I find a real bummer. It's kind of lame that they made it so generic for a character that's like... Sheila's levels change a lot based on where she is. Our life. We only got 12 lives. I think in the last game we finished, what, in the 30s? Or at least like 28 lives, which is a lot for a spider game. And apparently I hit that enemy. Oh, these guys. These guys shoot plungers, I think, at you. Weird, because you have butterfly nets, flower pots, and stuff like that. It's really, really weird with the enemy choice in here. Oh, I might as well get these gems. Also, collecting gems in this in this level is kind of, as Sergeant Bird is kind of annoying because the way he, you know, waddles on the ground and stuff. Spyro can charge, which makes it easier for him to, you know, go and gather stuff. But Sergeant Bird doesn't, so it kind of gets tedious coming up and down, up and down, up and down. Anyways, let's collect all these gems that we can. Oh, there's some gems over there. Wait, no, it's on the way out, so I guess we didn't... I guess it's a ladybug. I thought it was a uh, ruby out there. I'm like, oh, don't say I missed a ruby. That'd be saddening if I had missed a ruby. And let's see. You give me bombs, which, actually, before we do anything, I do want to use these. And apparently, when you touch the ground with these, you kind of bump weird. So it kind of gets annoying. But I think we press square with these. And what we actually need to do to get one of the hummingbirds is we need to go back. To where the uh, the glass gem case was, and we need to blow it open. And it actually creates a secret passage as well as unlocking us gems. Pretty cool, eh? I really like the idea that not only does it give you the gems, you can also get the hummingbird by going down here. And that is one thing I really like about this level. And anyways, yeah, we can still fire our, our normal rockets. Get rockets and bombs. They sound like a military mastermind or something. Okay, there's nothing in here but her, so no enemies to do. You made me lose my missiles. Wait, three, two other ones. Wait, does that mean we have to talk to the other one? I think we actually have to talk to them. Because if so, then I must have to talk to the one that I freed in the volcanic area. Which is weird, because the volcanic areas are here, and then... Um, uh, b -b 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 in the cave. Like right in here. So that means we probably. Oh, wait. I also missed some gems. How did I miss that? And it's a freaking 10 as well. Like, it's not like a small gem. Like, I actually have to talk to them. No, never mind. It is free, too. I thought I already got three. Weird. Anyways, let's, let's continue on. I do want to at least get a little bit of backtracking done. Preferably the magma level again. Thank you for your money. Oh, looks like we got more of this stuff going on. And what the heck, Gabriel? Did it again to me. And we got Ryan Lee, which is weird. I've never heard of the name Ryan Lee. Eh, we'll have 42 when we're done here. That's kind of cool. Oh wait, no, no, there are two hummingbirds out here. There's one just in this area, then there's one in that lava tunnel. Completely forgot about that. And here I was worried about missing somebody. Okay, let's pick up our missiles. And, because there are going to be things where we do need to destroy, like this. We will need to destroy you, my friend. Hey, you! Die, butterfly freak. Butterfly catching freak. And here's one of the hummingbirds. Oh, there are five. I thought it was four at the beginning. Butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> Ladybug, give me a butterfly. I do need some health. Looks like we got a green gem there. And Dr. Bird, what are you doing flying weird like that? This <laughs> is flying funny there. Okay, anything? Oh, there's an enemy down here. And also one of these uh, glass gem crates. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got gems in my tummy. I don't think gems are very yummy, though. That's for certain. Uh huh. What about you, punk? 
You made me lose my missiles! Or my bombs, not my missiles. I have missiles with me. Now we actually get a lot of health in here. I just want the life, not the... Just pick it up, dude. There we go! Lots more money right here. I don't know if I need those anymore. I don't think I do. Whatever. See, the problem is it's going up and down all the time in this level. Like, it's... So annoying, like, and the fact that this... The fact that this guy is just constantly hitting me is kind of bullshit. Thank you a lot, enemy. Now I need health again. Stupid enemy. And, like, health isn't very easy to get as Sergeant Bird. Like, it's not that difficult, but... Hey, come on! It's still a tedious task to go back all the way over here and get some health. Just because one enemy can hit me before it even sees me. Like, I don't even think it can technically shoot me there if you look at its location. Like, it shouldn't be able to. Eh, whatever. Also, there's that green gem that I keep missing for some reason. And then up here, we still got the gems, right? Yeah, I'm still missing the gems up on the rim of this building. Kind of looks like how... Uh, Robotica was designed. Wait, was it Robot? No, Metropolis. Let's think of Robotica Farms. Dude, you are so uncool, man. You're just mean. Okay. Um. Other than this and the stuff on the lava, I think we're pretty much good to go. At least I'm hoping. I'm not gonna get to do as much backtracking in this episode as I wanted. And can you actually land on the ground so I can? fly dude great now I actually have to get health because there's no way I'm gonna get that gem without dying like his controls are just so bad compared to every other animal buddy even the first person shooter animal buddy isn't this bad or the one that has a club or the one that jumps or the one that breathes fire you know it's... I'm talking about spiral for breathing fire by the way okay can you collect me the gem sir I think he does get a power where he does get gems from further away, which is an okay power, but it's really, compared to like the one that can find gems and stuff, it's not really that helpful. Apparently I just ran through fire. That time you get hit, that makes no sense, game. And yes, we got all the gems, which now there's 500. And we also get our egg, which is named Roy, Rob Roy. And now I think we get to leave the level, right? 3 out of 3, level complete. Okay, good. Level's complete. Let's leave. With our 500 gems in tow. So we pretty much got all our gems back. Actually, we will have all our gems back that we paid money bags after we finish off Molten Crater. Which is what I'm actually going to do before we end off this episode. Ah, 1-up. Yay! Now, to actually go back, you don't have the power to teleport in this game like you did in Spyro 2. Like, a lot of the unlockable features in Spyro 2, or like in this game, are actually features just built into Spyro 2 without cheating. Like, to get them in this, um, non legitimately, you'd have to cheat. Otherwise, you have to physically do all the Sparks levels and stuff, which I don't mind because they're good levels. Anyways, let's go back to this level, which we actually seriously did in the last episode. We did this, the boss, and the whole world under 20 minutes, so that's just saying we did pretty good. Anyways, I'm uh, just going to answer a text message to my girly friend. And Clay, I already know that there are Rhinox here. Actually, there's also pigs, apparently. Dude. Dude, how did you not jump that? Anyways, let's continue on. Get up here. And go in here into the Sergeant Bird portal. Hello, Spike. And he's just off for some R&R &R at the lodge. That's literally all he says. Now our mission here is to actually put these heads on the on the Tiki people. Yes, apparently when they're decapitated, they're just turned to stone. And when you put them on, they become alive again. Weird creatures. But... Yeah, these birds don't actually drop you gems. They actually just respawn. They're, they're weird enemies. 
They're more of a threat than they are. You can you hear that weird sound effect in the background? Yeah, that's that. Okay, now we'll know that when we get 2200 gems, we'll actually be done the level. So now we can actually, you know, rely on our gem total being the right amount now. And I think there actually is an egg in there. Which explains why there are more why there is another egg other than the ones that we have to do the one that we had to do here. And we got Luna, which better be white. Eh, I was expecting a slim one, but Eh, whatever. Uh, let's see, where's the next head? The heads are all over the place. The bodies are all here. Well, let's go into this one. You can't just walk and avoid the fire. It's that once you have the head, that it makes things difficult. See, there are a lot of gems in this area. Like, yeah, and if you take damage, you drop the head. I think though, if you fly all the way up there, it doesn't really do anything. So let's give this body a head. There are nothing that steals the head off the enemies, or up the head off the enemies. The head off of the uh, I really don't know what they are. Like little tiki lodge dudes. I don't know. I almost ran into that bird, and the birds can... Actually, I don't know if the birds themselves damage you, or if it's when uh, they knock you into the lava. It might be only when they knock you into the lava that they actually cause damage. Because I think they're just meant to be like a, an annoyance and get in the way, other than the fa other than actually deal damage to you. Like, see, they're just everywhere. Let's avoid them. Can you not die? Woo! Barely made it on there. Where's another one? Hello, guy with the uh, missing. Oh, there we go. This guy is next. Okay. Okay. Run! The birds are back. Yeah. See, they don't. They don't do damage, but they keep knocking you down, which is annoying. And apparently, I missed a lot of big gems out here. Thank you for my health back, Senor. Wait, there is a balloon up here, right? I, mean, I don't know why I was forget to get that. And it's a five, so another somewhat decent sized gem. Okay, I already went there. It's this way that I need to go next. Once again, harmless if you just do that. Anyways, we'll grab this. Nice if there's like a 25 in here. I don't actually know if I'm gonna get all the gems in this area, or if I miss some on the uh, main level. Then again, there is a red one right here, and a 10. So there is a good chance that I didn't miss any gems in the other parts. Now the last one is just down here, right? Yeah. And put your head back on. Thank you! Take, Take this egg! We got, we got Ryan and Ryan Lee in the same video, that's really funny. Well, that's... that's never happened before. I hope it's not a sign of a bad omen. And hope not either. That would be terrible, dude. It really doesn't affect me too, too much. Now, I wonder, am I just maybe missing... Um... Money from... Balloons, maybe? I don't know. Don't think I missed the spiral because we double checked the uh, one area big time. Like the. Uh, uh, whatchamacallit? The. Sp uh, supercharge area. Checked it a lot. Wait a minute, hang on a second. There are enemies up here. Oh no, nothing. Ow, come on, bird brain. I wish I had the ability to track gems by now. Anyways, absolutely nothing. Other than this one, I really don't think we're gonna find any uh, gems. So no, I think the gems are once again in Spyro's area. So we did miss gems somewhere around here. So now we have to search around for the gems again. We're only missing what? Uh, 13. So we're missing a red, for sure. Actually, we may not even be missing a red. I don't think a red is mandatory to create 13, so. 
Okay, whatever. Come on, enemies, die. Wait, there's an enemy in here that did, that had a gem still? What? So there was a gem still on one of the enemies. How did I miss one of the enemies? That was really weird. I don't remember missing him. Oh, and there's the... I found the missing gems. They're out here. <laughs> there we go. Now we completed the level. That, that was funny. And there we go. 2,200 gems. So anyways, that does it for this episode. And in the next episode... We are for surely doing the Sparks level, and then after that, I'm not sure if we'd have time in the same video to do anything, but anyways, see you guys then.